we just finished the gym, so what we're gonna do now is gonna do our full day of eating, probably eating just tacos, because there's a lot of taco spots I wanna go to. The first place we're going to is a recommended from an actual subscriber on Instagram. I can't El wait to actually Chuton. eat. El Chuton. It's top rated. Google gave it like 4.8 or 4.9 out of 5. But yeah, I'm also probably going to go and get my, um, what was it? Quiero un café frío con leche. So my iced coffee with milk. El pollo. All right, what did you think of it? The chorizo one was better. Yeah, the chorizo one was definitely the best one. Overall, I'd say the food was okay. I don't think it was as great as it made sound out to be, especially when I factored in the portion size. Like, for example, the place we went to in the last vlog near the end and what I had this morning, for 100 pesos, we got six pretty filled like tacos whereas here you saw in the video they're pretty like modest with the amount you got so it wasn't like it was basically almost half of what you got there so yeah but overall it wasn't bad it just wasn't the best we've only got three so we've got two chorizo and one just regular pork let's see what it tastes like they gave a hefty amount of cheese by the way i will say they are much more filled up than the other one and they're a lot more cheaper these were Roughly around $18, 18 pesos, so you pay one. Mm. Now that's good. And obviously a lot of cheese. But when cheese tastes good. That's true, so that's bright. So I'm gonna assume this one's a different pork. Tastes good. Tastes like the pork. And you see on the spicks. Yeah. And it's been around, it's like that. It's char grilled, it tastes really good. I think this one actually beats this yesterday's one. Yeah, it does. It does. Eat the chorizo one because I think that one tastes even better. Mm. Tastes good. Isn't it? After finishing it, definitely that is the best tacos we've had so far. Decent portion, tasted good. I love the tortilla on it. Yeah, it's cheap as well, and it tastes really, really good. So yeah, definitely we'll come back for that. So uh, yeah, well, what I can do now is like chill for a bit, probably get a coffee, get my iced coffee. I said my cafe frío. And uh, probably chill and find another taco place. Well, next place now for the tacos is El Fogo. So hopefully this is good. That last place we went, I'm telling you man, that street food place was dope. They was on point. How is it? Ay, gracias. Uh, Gotta do a mini toast. Happy. So, where the man that you crispy as well? Really good. Good, like the food tastes pretty good. I, out of that and the place before it, I may slightly edge towards the, the street one just because it was cheaper and I personally liked the, the excess cheese they gave us. Tasted really good. Kareen liked the oh, better because she likes the crispy taco shell. Overall, they were both good. The street one was cheaper though, so in my opinion, that almost gives it more of an advantage as well. I will say the El Fogum one. The alcohol they gave us to me tastes like juice, so I don't know if this is that much. But in terms of the actual food, it tastes good, so we'll definitely be heading back there again. So what we're gonna do, to be honest, probably chill for a bit, maybe go to the pool and relax a bit, and then maybe go and get some more tacos. But what I have also got, <laughs> went to this Mexican superstore, so then we ended up getting some all brand because they had it, <laughs> just to make sure that I'm mixing in my diet, as well as some fruits, bananas, and stuff. Uh, we've still got pineapple that I'm looking forward to smashing up today, and also some snacks. Ruffles have become a good obsession of mine. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna chill for a bit and then maybe go in the pool and just relax and then maybe go get some more tacos. Depends on how we feel, because four sets of tacos today. Yeah, maybe a fifth, I don't know, man. I feel full as it is. Have you enjoyed the tacos so far? Yeah. Folks, it's actually the next day. However, yesterday I was so tacoed out that we just couldn't eat no more. So, but there's one more place I wanted to show you guys, which is Don Sirloin. So I thought I'd just do it today and just show you guys. I can see why people are doing the mass thing to I understand when you're indoors, but literally walking four steps, you have to put this on. Four steps, if that. But either way, the food smells good. I'm looking forward to eating it. Titi, titi, fry, what is it? Sunday, Sunday, is it? Titi, Sunday. I'm going to go for the trips first, because so far everywhere, trips are getting bombed. Who's hot? Hot, hot, hot. So yeah, it's just so damn good. And the other one. I'd have to sit and think. That tastes really good. Like Torrito on every single place we went to Juranus has been good. I feel like, like a, it's like an easy win, I think. The, the meat just tastes so flavoursome and just greasy and good. And this is the pasor or whatever. Tastes alright. I think the other one was better than that one. I told you, it has that weird zing to it, innit? And that's what I mean, put a lime on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's so just nice, innit? Yeah. So, for the mouth of it, this is the best one. It's a strong strong. Strong liquor. Strongest so far to be honest. Close second would be um, Cafe Orange, but it's not as strong, but it can be more volume. Also, I'm happy here. I'm not stingy with the pineapple. What do you think of the meal and how does it compare to the other ones? I liked it. It was nice. Um, I can't understand. The al pastel, I like the al more. Yeah. I like the al more. But the sirloin and the chorizo one was really good. The nachos, I do really like it. Refried really beans, not my favorite. How's the liquor? Alright, so that's the meal. I enjoyed it. I think the chorizo um, tacos is basically good everywhere. We haven't had a bad one. The El Pastor, I'd say the same. Like, I think the other street was better, but it still tasted really good. The sirloin here was good. I like that. Um, that might even actually be my favourite sirloin one. The drinks are much stronger here, so <laughs> they're smaller in size, but they're much more. You can taste the alcohol in it, so. If you want to get... Yeah, the 100 pesos. And that was cheaper than the one up there, and theirs was basically just juice. I didn't taste any liquid in either one of our drinks. Um, this one's taking a while to drink it because there's salt and lime put on the rim. It's making like a little bit of tequila vibe. But um, overall, I enjoyed it, man. But as this full food I've eaten, nearly every place I went in this video, the food was actually good. I think the probably the lowest is the one around the corner, the El Chiton. It was still good, but it was just for the price and money they gave you. That's the bar on the list for me, which is weird because that's the one I was recommending for a follower. So whoever that dude was on Instagram, it was I, but mine's a little better. I'm sorry, the straight line, but it don't make sense. <laughs> but overall, I enjoyed it, man. Stay tuned for this full lady. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like down below. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.